So then guys, is Apple still looking to make a budget MacBook out there that will cost less than $700? Well, today I'm going to explore with you if this is still going to be a possibility. But with that, let's have a look at the current lineup of the MacBooks right now. We have the top of the line MacBook Pros, and this comes in the 16 and also the 14 inch offerings. And of course, you can pick from the top range M4 Max, then the M4 Pro, and then the M4. Of course, you can get the M4, M4 Pro, and M4 Max inside the 14 inch model, the M4 Pro, and the M4 Max in the 16 inch. And then obviously, the M4 is just exclusive to the 14 inch model, so you can't get that in the 16 inch model well, it was a bit of a shame because I'd like to see it inside of that but then we've also got the MacBook Air and the MacBook Air at the moment currently offers the M3 inside of the 13 and the 15 inch model and just very recently if we look on Apple's website you can now configure this with a base amount of 16 gigabytes of RAM what is really really great news to see inside of a MacBook Air the cheapest MacBook that we can buy at the moment from Apple's website is not actually an M3 or an M4. It's actually the M2 MacBook Air with 16 gigabytes of RAM. What well, starts out at 999 US dollars. Obviously, if you're an education user, you can get this for hundred dollars less. What well, is still really, really reasonable for what it is. But obviously, this is a chip from like two generations ago. Now we're on M4 for goodness' sake. So you know this is going back a little bit. So this is still quite a bit expensive. Expensive. But the good news is that right now there are a lot of deals going around for the 8 gigabyte MacBook Airs because obviously Apple wants to get rid of these because they're making the 16 gigabytes and you can pick these up for around about $800 or even less what is really really great to see and I'm sure these are going to get snapped up straight away because obviously you can still use Apple intelligence on this you can get the latest Mac OS software upgrades and everything like this so these are still great devices here in 2024. Four. And this is where the question opens up. Why doesn't Apple make a MacBook SE what has a bit less specs inside of it, but still is great to use in 2024? I'm talking about specs of maybe having inside of it an M2 or even an M3, but with only eight gigabytes of RAM, the binned version of the M2 or M3, so not obviously the full fat amount of core version, and then obviously say around about say 128 gigabytes of storage, and also in the design that Apple are very, very familiar with. Well, the good news is, is that we've actually had a few leaks and rumors come in. Granted that some of them are around about a year old now, and some of them are actually from March time this year, where it looks like Apple are potentially looking to make such a device where we would actually have, say, an older chip inside of it, and also using a design that they're very, very familiar with. Now, what design could this actually be? Well, I think the design could be one of two different designs that Apple could use if they were to make a MacBook SE. One design is a design all the way back from 2015. That's right, the original, just the MacBook, not a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, just the MacBook got reintroduced back in 2015 and it was a 12 inch display and it was super, super thin. This, funny enough, had inside of it an Intel M series, not to get confused with the Apple M series, but an Intel M series, and it didn't do too well. Main reason why was because of the butterfly keyboard was failing, also the hinges were breaking often on this, and it was also overheating for what it was. You know, this was an x86 Intel chip, and it just wasn't designed to be completely fanless. But obviously, if we fast forward to 2024, you know, we have the likes of the MacBook Air, it's completely fanless, it's far more efficient obviously the butterfly keyboard has been completely replaced now with the magic keyboard and things are far far better now and apple could reuse this design obviously giving it updates with say the magic keyboard inside of it improving hinges obviously putting an m2 inside of this for heat control and i think we would get great great battery life because we did have that stack battery design inside of this macbook 2 so this would be really really great to see the only one down i I'd say about this is that obviously we just have one USB-C port on the side and obviously this is for charging and also for if you wanted to plug anything into it too. This was Apple going through their minimalist design sort of stage. Maybe that this is probably not the best idea just to have one port. Maybe they could add a port on the other side where the headphone jack is but we'll just have to wait and see. 
The other design that Apple could use for this MacBook is the old MacBook Air design. This is the Wedge MacBook Air, the design that came out in 2018 and was used with some Intel, and obviously the M1 MacBook Air also used the design. A lot of people say this was the crown jewel MacBook out there, the M1 MacBook Air. It gave us the best value, best design. I think the only one downer to it, I think from my point of view, is it was missing the MagSafe charger. But Apple could relaunch this design again, and we could have the likes of, say, an M2 inside of this with eight gigabytes of RAM, and this could be also the MacBook SE. Remember the leak here did say it could be between a 12 and 13 inch, so this could mean the 13 inch of this, a 13.3 inch of this design. And I for one would love to see this MacBook come back. And obviously it wouldn't have, say, the latest and greatest specs. Like I said, it would be probably the binned M2 inside of it, the binned core version of that. And then obviously we'd probably go and get eight gigabytes around, maybe 128 gigabytes of storage. But I think if Apple price is right, this could be a really, really great seller. And talk about the price, we'll talk about that in just a moment, right after we talk about the giveaway that we're doing on the channel for this. This here is an iPhone 16 Pro Max, and I'm giving this away to one lucky subscriber near the end of December time. This is the Desert Titanium, or Titanium Desert model that I'm giving away. And like I said, near the end of December, just before Christmas, I will be making a video on this channel giving you more details about the giveaway and also telling you a date of when I'm going to do a live stream when I'm going to gift this iPhone 16 Pro Max away. And all you have to do to enter in right now is just put down into the comments below of what Apple gear or non-Apple gear that you're hoping to get in 2024, technology related or into early 2025. Maybe this is a PS5 Pro, maybe this is going to be the Switch 2, maybe this is going to be a new M4 Mac. Let me know know in the comments below. And also guys, like I said, there will be more information coming out near the end of December time where I'll be making a video and there'll be a little form to fill in for the giveaway too. So if you don't want to miss out on that video with more details, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. The other reason why you want to do that is because obviously I'm giving this away to a subscriber. The last thing I want to quickly say though is obviously there are lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating you, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, even direct message by Instagram. Please do ignore these people. Better still, you can see right here, please do report them. So moving on then, how much could this new MacBook SE cost? And also, when would it come out if it did actually come out? Well, I personally think that it, a good price would be $599 or $699 US dollars. At the end of the day, the Mac Mini right now costs $599 US dollars, and that's with an M4 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm talking about an M2, eight gigabytes of RAM, in an old design, so this does have the potential that Apple could do this, but I think it's more likely it's gonna cost $100 more because we have the screen, we have a keyboard, and all those extra bits, battery, you name it, they're all in there. So I think $699 US would be a more reasonable price for this, but we just have to wait and see if this is actually going to be the case. And that also leads on nicely to the actual release date. Well, we did see leaks and rumors bouncing around that this could exist, and I think this would be a great chance for Apple to do this, but we haven't heard anything since then if they're actually gonna bring out a device like this. Obviously, I think if there was gonna be a device like this, it's gonna be in 2025 when, I do not know, but it would probably be leading towards that sort of time if they were to bring out an SE version of this. Now, we have heard obviously the iPhone SE and obviously the new base sort of version of the iPads coming out in spring 2025. Maybe it could be introduced then, but like I said, there's been nothing out there that even this device or such a device like this is even in production yet. So if we do hear any more news about this, obviously I'll let you guys know more about it when that comes available. But what do you think? Do you think Apple should make a MacBook SE and do you hope it's in development? Let me know in the comments below. And also guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.